Oculus Quest 2 has got a pretty big update uh, during the week. And it's a bit of a weird one as well, just to flag that it's updated. So I know people have got the update, but the features in the update are going to roll out at a later date, progressively across different users. So you could have the update, weird. but you can't use any of the new features. And they won't tell you when you can use the new features. So a bit strange, but very, very cool updates. Um, so two major updates they've announced. So the biggest one is that they it's have this huge. new thing now, which is called Oculus Air Link. So essentially the Oculus Quest 2 is a standalone VR unit from Facebook, meaning you do not need a PC at all to use it and you can play games on it. It is pretty cool. Like as much as I don't like Facebook and I would never buy it, you know, you have to admit if something is good and it is a very, very cool unit. You have one, right, Mike? Yep. yep. Well-priced. Oh, it's insanely well-priced. Like they, it feels like they're losing money on the hardware sales of it. Very fun. Something that, you know, you can get people to use and... You know, everyone that's used it said, oh, it's pretty funny, like, or novel or, you know, cool to play. Really now, funny. you can link it to your PC. I've done that to play Half-Life Alex. Mm-hmm. I had to Ditto. find a very special USB-C cable to be able to do it. Well, I wouldn't say very special. It just needs to be a high enough bandwidth cable. There's yeah, but the, like a around. lot of the cables will not work. No, no, you can't just, you just use buy... a standard run. But that's what I'm saying, special. Usually, yeah. You know, yeah. you have to especially like look and go, Gotta is this the sure right one got... or not? Yeah. The yeah. official cable is like 120 Australian dollars. It's insane. You I think I got mine for like that. 25. Yeah, 25 bucks. And then it's like also on. weird that I had to plug it into a very specific port on my motherboard. USB 3.2? No, because should, I've got three point one and three point two and three Either and both two. Both should work. No, no, three point one works better than three point two, and there's all these crazy reasons why. Okay, but anyway, it's very annoying. And it's very like finicky and frustrating. I never had any issues with it. But it once it's all out of the box, ah, oh, it's very dude. Like it is not straightforward. But okay. Anyway, get it all set up, fine. But this this update, and there are back backdoor ways to get this working already and you have to pay money for virtual desktop and a bunch of other stuff but they're doing this for free now and it's in the experimental mode of the update essentially what you're going to be able to do is connect your oculus quest 2 wirelessly to your desktop pc that's going to be cool subject to a very very high uh threshold on your wi-fi network you need it needs to be on 5g 5G? No, no, not 5G. You're no, it's talking- at 5 gigahertz. 5 gigahertz, yeah. Yeah, yeah 5 you won't G's be mobile. able to do it on the 2 point. It's not yeah, even 5 gigahertz, no. dude. It's actually like, I think some of the protocols in 5 gigahertz won't work either. Huh. And they've also said you should be around 12 feet. So what is that, like 6 meters or whatever it is? It's not 6 meters, what am I talking about? It's... Uh, Divided by 3, oh, it's, no, it's 4 about- meters away. Yeah, four meters. Yeah. Um, Wait, by three? From the router. That's what they're saying. <laughs> so that is extremely close to the router. Mm. So I, as I said, like this update's gone live. I tried to actually use it on my wife's dad's Oculus, but it, it wasn't live yet on his oh, system. Dang it. I'm super interested in using this because I've got like because a that's really the biggest barrier, right? Yeah, I've got a really crazy Wi-Fi setup at home that has like the highest standard that they are looking for. Mm-hmm. So I'm hopeful that it will be like very solid and mm. I've got a really big area in my house right next to my computer room, my study. So like that would be awesome to be able to like move around in Half-Life Alex. So I'm actually going to hold Agreed. off playing that game again. And also the other big change is that they have announced 120 Hertz support uh, for the, the Oculus Quest 2. Currently it's at 90, but... I don't know if you know this, Mike. You actually have to go through the settings to change it. By default, I think it's 75 hertz. And to be honest, I haven't even checked. So I, <laughs> I went through and changed mine to 90 hertz. So but it's interesting that your the, step up this... from like 75 to 120 would be insane. I'd be massive. Well, yeah, if it's anything it's be like, like you do it. The only problem is then, of course, having the hardware to push 120. But well, it's not but... the hardware. It's just as long as the Wi Fi connection is strong enough, it'll be fine, right? No, I just mean, I just mean, wouldn't you need games to also oh, yeah, run yeah, yeah, a super frame rate? 100%. Yeah, 100%. so. Hmm. Yeah. Depends but on I, the game at that stage. But. I actually know that Half-Life Alex. I don't think it makes much of a difference in a weird way huh. about like if it's 75 or 120. It's more like the texture settings that you've got, like that can okay. really overload your graphics card really easily. But I find it interesting that that's something that the hardware is capable of doing out of the box. It just wasn't mm. enabled till now. Because normally you, you, like, you can't just get a monitor that's 60 
and all of a sudden there's a patch for it and boom shakalaka it runs at 90 or 120 mm. i've never seen that before and then the last one is just um that then this was in the konami sorry the resident evil showcase that resident evil 4 vr is coming exclusively to the quest 2 store which is uh, quite interesting. And Resident Evil is on my list of the Dirty Dozen games that I need to play this year. So this should be coming out this year. So I might actually see if I play it on this. I think it'd be a really be weird way to play it. Like play the it first time to play is on VR. So yeah, no. So like, I mean, I you got to give credit where it's due. I think Facebook's doing a lot of good stuff. I just yeah, wish they didn't stuff, own like Oculus. Five hundred million people's accounts being leaked. No, it was way more than that. It was like a billion something. That was just yeah. scrape starter anyway. It wasn't Christ. like they'd hacked into it or anything. Oh, that was just scrape no, starter. No, but I think, look, since deal. we're on the topic, we're no, on the topic. No, but it's scrape data, like as in, it was very, mis- I think, very misreported. It wasn't great, but 